Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably already know that with the new masking tools found in the latest version of Lightroom that it's very easy to change the color of a seamless paper backdrop that happens to be in an image. In case you don't know how to do that, I am going to show you how to do that in this video, but I'm also going to show you a couple other cool tricks you could do with the background in Lightroom. Alright, I have this image here, the models in front of a colored seamless paper background. Now, I just want to make a quick note that this, uh, these techniques that I'm going to be showing you in this video will work when the background has some color to it. So if you have a white background or a gray background, it's probably not going to look right. Uh, so you need some color to the background to begin with. I want to change the color of the background. So to do that, just get the mask tool, click on the mask icon. We're going to select the subject. And this is the part at the beginning I said most of you probably already know how to do this. Once you do that, we have the subject selected. You can see the red overlay is on the model. I want to select the background though, so we're just simply going to click this little checkbox to invert it. Now we have the background selected. Now to change the color, we could go to the hue slider and just move it around. So we just change the color very easily. And of course, all the other sliders will affect the image as well. You can make it brighter. Or darker with the exposure slider you could modify it slightly with the contrast slider and slow and so on so all the sliders will work but I did mention at the top that I'm going to show you a little bit more in this video some other cool tricks you could do uh, with this mask when you're masking the background let's reset this so we're going to start over and again I'm going to select the subject again I'm going to invert it so now the background is selected but now I'm going to go up here where it says mask one. I'm going to click on these three dots that are to the right of that. And I'm going to intersect the mask with a radial gradient. When you intersect the mask with another mask, what will happen is the only part of the image that will be affected by the adjustments are the parts of the image where the two masks overlap. So in this case, the background is selected. And if I draw a radial gradient, just a small one, let's say over her nose, it wouldn't do anything. But if I draw a large one and it's over her face and her arms, but also over the background, the adjustments I do will only affect the part that is over the background. So let's do that. Let's draw a radial gradient. Now you could see how we have the red overlay behind her head, but it's not affecting her at all and it's not affecting any other part of the background. Now if I wanted to change the color, I could I could change the color right there. I could then, you know, make it brighter or something. So you could see how you could um, intersect these two masks uh, to do something interesting with the background. In the past, you only could do this with Photoshop. Now it's very easy to do it with Lightroom. So let's say I didn't like that one. Let's just delete that one. And we still have the original mask on. Let me reset that. But we'll go to this. And we'll, again, I'll intersect the mask with the radial gradient. Maybe I'll make it like a little larger like this. Maybe move it down. Something like that. And then we could come in and change the color behind her. So that's a pretty cool effect. Let's do one more thing. Let's reset this. We're going to start from scratch again. And I'm going to select the subject. Then I'm going to invert it just like I did before. And then again, I'm going to go up where it says mask one, click on those three dots. And I'm going to intersect the mask this time with a linear gradient. A linear gradient you usually would do on a sky, right? You know, something to do with, you know, darkening the sky or making the sky more dramatic. Well, we could use this when we intersect it with the background to make a kind of a gradient of color in the background. Now, to do that, just draw the gradient on the image. Just click and draw. Now you can see I could do it in angles, but I want it to be perfectly horizontal. So I'm going to hold in the shift key when I do this, and it will lock it into that orientation, perfectly horizontal. Then I could come in and I could start messing with the color. 
And you can see that's a pretty cool effect, isn't it? Now we could do that any way we want. Let's say, um, let me go back to this one and let me delete it. All right, now we still have the original mask of the background. There's the overlay showing the background is still masked. And masked, and then I'll go to those three dots, intersect with the linear gradient, but this time I want to draw it up. So hold the shift key, and I'll go around the middle, maybe around her chin, click and draw up. And then again, I want to change the color. So you could do something like that. And of course, you know, you could come in after the fact and come off it a little bit from the middle, and you could like rotate it, move it around. Do all these different types of things that look like you did some advanced lighting or something in the studio, but you're actually doing in Lightroom in post production. So I think that's a pretty cool little like effects and tricks you could do to spruce up those plain paper backgrounds that you have that maybe you just have one color. Now you could really have just about any color possible because of these new masking tools found in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.